it is a little bit the picture is blur, so let me see if I can. Um, so the the pressure drop uh, in reactors, uh, as I as I have mentioned a few times, so is uh, is mainly for gases for liquids. Uh, even if you have uh, your system, even if your system uh, experiences a lot of uh, uh, pressure changes, uh, the liquid doesn't sense that uh, <coughs> that pressure. So the main things about the gases, and we will see that uh, the main subject in this area would be uh, for the uh, packed reactors which we have the catalyst, and obviously when you pass the gas to the catalyst, there is an uh, amount of the pressure drop depending on the uh, some parameters like uh, porosity or velocity, which is a combination of the, uh, of the reactor and the materials and also the, the gas passing through the materials. So, so liquid phase. So for liquid phase, uh, pressure drop, pressure drop does not affect, does not affect uh, the concentration, the concentration in liquid phase. Liquid phase. For the gas phase, uh, there is there is influence of pressure, influence of pressure, drop on the concentration, on the Concentration. Basically, that summarizes what we said about the liquid and the gases. So we're going to just uh, write down some equation just to uh, remind you what uh, what we had before. There is nothing uh, new in these equations, but uh, this equation uh, is uh, we use it uh, just to uh, just to uh, simplify the pressure drop that I'm going to just put on the, on the board in a few seconds. So if you remember from before, we had the concentration was uh, Fa, which is a molar flow rate over uh, volumetric flow rate. And at the same time, if you remember, this uh, element is uh, for the gases was V0, 1 plus epsilon x. And that was also the influence of the temperature and the pressure. It was uh, T over T0 and was uh, P0 over P. <coughs> so then your uh, CA concentration would be FA over V, which is this one. I'm going to replace this equation here. So it would be. Uh, FA0, 1 minus X, which is the conversion, definition of conversion. V0, 1 plus epsilon X, uh, T, T0, uh, P, P0 over T. And this is uh, C, CA0, 1 minus X over 1 plus epsilon X, uh, T0 over T, P over P0. <coughs> so in general, uh, your, uh, your CI, which is, can be CA, CB, C, CC, and so on and so forth, is going to be CA0. If you remember, we defined theta, which is the 
the, the ratio of the coefficient is theta i plus mi i x 1 plus epsilon x uh, p p0 t0 over t Just uh, let's do a very quick example on that one. So, as I said, I'd like just to uh, just to uh, point out the major uh, comments on the, uh, to the examples. So, let's assume two A gives a P plus plus C. And this, let's assume, is being uh, conducted on a packed bed reactor. So this is uh, the design equation is FA0 dx dw is minus R prime A. So just keep in mind that R prime, uh, again, uh, you have you had the midterm exam just uh, a week ago, so uh, is based on the grams, not based on the volume. So for example, a, a, a typical uh, vol uh, unit would be gram mole divided by gram catalyst times like minute or hour. So this is a second order. This is a uh, second order and uh, irreversible, irreversible. So basically, your uh, your uh, rate law would be minus r prime is k c a square. So what is the next step? The next step is just to uh, uh, combine this equation with the stoichiometry. So uh, I'm going to just finish. Did you finish this part? I'm going to flip the page. So the stoichiometry for this reaction is uh, just the equation that I put it here with respect to the, obviously, the A in this case, because we need this A over here. OK, so stoichiometry would be Uh, uh, CA is uh, FA over V is CA0 1 minus X 1 plus epsilon X P over P0 T0 over T so if you combine these uh, equations together in case you want to solve it analytically So you're going to have dx dw is going to be k c a zero squared one minus x squared f a zero one plus epsilon x squared p over p zero squared. If obviously. Uh, we didn't consider the change of the temperature, so this is considered to be isothermal. So now, uh, I mean, this is, uh, now we are not going to solve this one, so you need a relationship between P and P0 at this phase. So, uh, so you need the uh, to find P 
p over p0, which is this, as a function of w, as a function of w. w means weight of cathode. Now I'm going to just start the, uh, the pressure drop equation. There is an equation, we call it ergon equation, E-R-G-U-N equation. This equation uh, shows how the pressure changes across the tube, uh, obviously with respect when you have the material in it. So if you look at the fluid mechanic book that you had, you had the pressure drop uh, equation for turbulent laminar. But in that, in, on, on those cases, you didn't consider the weight catalyst and other, other things. So basically, the, 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 the gas or liquid goes through the, uh, through the tube, and then uh, you, you find the, the pressure you know, based, on the, based on the velocity profile and so on and so forth. Remember? In the fluid mechanic, you had this equation, right? So now, this is similar to that one, is, but in this case, because it's important to have the, the solid in your system, see how does it work. And that can be a big, uh, big change, because uh, uh, P over P0, as you see from this equation, is, has a, a power of uh, 2 on it. So basically, especially if there is a, like a second order, if there's a third order with power of 3 and so on, and then you see that the, uh, the dx dw is going to be very influenced by the pressure drop. And I will show you that uh, uh, down the road in this uh, uh, chapter that uh, with or without the pressure drop, your concentration changes, your conversion changes, and uh, uh, so it would be an influence on the, on the exit uh, concentration and, and other parameters. Okay, so we, have, we start with the uh, with, uh, uh, Erdogan equation. So, Mm -hmm. Flow through a packed bed. Packed bed. Okay? So we have, uh, like we have a reactor, a tubular reactor, and uh, we have a material sitting in the reactor in the middle of it, and then you have the flow of the gas, and then you want to see what would be the pressure between inlet and outlet as a, mat as a, as a matter of having this, this material and other things. So the uh, equation that we, we just discussed is Ergon equation. Oh, I'm doing in the handwriting. Is it a little bit better, huh? right? No? Okay. So, you see, that's the things about uh, the computer that is coming. So, I mean, uh, if you look at it, look at yourself, the, the amount of the time you spend writing things. I guess is minimal, right? So either you're uh, you're in front of the computer or your or your laptop or your uh, other devices. So is is the old days that was like even in the school they they practice their writing handwriting. I don't think students in this era are, are having those. So uh, unless they have a the interest from their family that push them, but otherwise the students they are not supposed to <laughs> write even I. Uh, you can see that uh, in the uh, reports and other things. So, which is not, uh, I mean, is a mixed uh, view on that, on how, how we can see that one. But this is the computer error, right? So, it's, so we cannot do it. Anyway, I, I, uh, I guess it's good to have a hand, good hand by it. So the Erdogan equation is uh, discussing the pressure drop. Basically, the change of the pressure compared to the dz. 
z is, z is going to be this stands for now. When, we, when I write this equation, then afterwards I try to change this uh, parameters z to the weight of the catalyst because that would be a, a design design criteria for uh, uh, for uh, your uh, plan design or other other objectives that you have. So dp dz is going to be minus g capital G. I'm going to just put all these parameters later on on the board. So it would be rho. GC DP one minus five five cubed hundred fifty one minus five mu DP plus 1.75 capital G. Okay? So I'm going to just read one time over the equation. DP DZ is minus G over rho G sub C D sub P 1 minus 5, 5 Q, and then we have a parenthesis 150, 1 minus 5 times mu DP plus 1.75 g. So there are two terms here in the bracket. So one term basically signifies the laminar flow. This this uh, the first uh, term, and the second term signifies the turbulent flow. What does it mean? You will see in some of the examples in the book. So if your uh, if your Reynolds number is high, is uh, goes towards the towards the turbulent, so there is a big difference between these two terms. So you might want to just uh, uh, ignore the, the first terms. Like the difference between these two terms would be very few order of magnitudes. And the other way around, if the laminar is dominant, so you might want to uh, ignore these terms. Okay? But this is again in the judgment of you when you are doing the examples. But uh, somewhere high laminar, low turbulent, you want to consider both of them. So in this equation, uh, P is pressure. So the unit is, uh, I mean, uh, the unit uh, is pound force. If you are, I'm going to write both. Is pound force over uh, foot squared, or uh, this is the British unit or SI unit would be a KPA, uh, K Pascal. So phi is the porosity, porosity, or void fraction, void fraction. What is the unit of porosity? Unitness, right? So basically shows volume of the void or the total volume, okay? So G, okay, this is the volume of void over total volume, total volume. Then we have G sub C. Who knows what is G sub C? What is G sub C? Huh? Gravity. No, I mean, uh, if you look at it, uh, it has the same uh, value, but uh, there is a difference between G and G sub C. Who knows what? Huh? Who is this? Uh. No, G is uh, gravity, you know. What, what is G sub C? Huh? You are trying to explain, I know you know the answer. So I'm going to just mention and you know that that's what you want to mention. So who wants to say what is G sub C? In the British unit, you have force and you have mass. You have two different things. So 
in order to, to convert mass, mass to force or force to mass, you need to have a G sub C, and that's uh, the way you uh, convert the mass and force together. However, in, um, in a SI unit, the uh, force is defined from the uh, Newton's law, Newton's second law. The force is defined based on the mass. So uh, force is what? Is uh, M A, right? So therefore, there is no need for converting, uh, defining this value. And that's what in recent years, so in old days, again, when they have all the books was the British unit, you, you saw a lot of this G sub C. But now everything has been changed to SI unit. There is no G sub C. Basically, G sub C in SI unit is 1. But in British unit, is 32.2. I'm going to put it there. So I mean, it's good to know as an engineer. So you're working on the downtown. So you, if, you, if you see the unit in British and this, oh, what is G sub C? Our teacher didn't say anything. So I told you the number. So GC is at 32.174 is a pound mass feet, the unit, over, uh, this is pound force, pound force, uh, second squared. So basically you see there is a relationship between pound mass and pound force. So that's what you see the G sub C. It's a conversion factor basically. It's a, Conversion factor. So GC basically is one in SI units. SI units. So therefore, you don't need to worry about this one. So DP, D sub P, is the particle diameter. Particle. Diameter. So obviously, we are talking about the uh, SI unit would be meter. I'm going to flip the page. Okay, so viscosity mu is the uh, gas viscosity, gas viscosity. So you know that what is the gas viscosity is pound mass over foot, hour or seconds if you are talking about the uh, British unit, and is kilogram per meter second if it is a unit. Z is the pipe length. Pipe lengths. So pipe lengths obviously is a feet or meter. U is a superficial velocity. Superficial superficial velocity. What is this one? What is superficial velocity? Superficial velocity. What is it? What is it? Huh? Very good, very good. Yes. Where is the superficial velocity in the formula? Is it you? So the, the, the reason is that I'm going to just define a G over here. G has the U. You need to find. Just wait. G has the U. But a very smart question. So wait. I'm going to just define a G. But uh, superficial velocity, as, as uh, you mentioned, is the, is the, if you have a pipe, is the flow, uh, mass flow meter over the rho u or uh, vol uh, volumetric flow meter over the area. This is defined when you don't have the uh, uh, 
uh, when you have a non-uniform uh, velocity going through this one. So basically, what it says is the average of the velocity going through the, through the pipe. Okay? So superficial velocity is, is a volumetric flow rate, is a volumetric flow rate, flow rate over cross-sectional area. Cross section of area. Now we have this superficial mass velocity. Superficial mass velocity. And what is superficial mass velocity? From, from fluid mechanics. Rho u a was the m dot, remember from super when did you have the, the, the mechanic? Last year, right? Was it last year? Right? Last year. So m dot was rho u a, right? That was kilogram per second. So if you have divide that one by the area, so that gives you rho u and that would be g. So it would be superficial mass velocity. Basically, the definition is rho u, and this u is this u. So we measure mass velocity, and the unit would be a kilogram meter squared second. So the only parameter, the only parameter that changes <coughs> with pressure, with the uh, pressure is, what is it? The main one. Look at that, uh, those uh, values. What was that? Huh? G is like a, well, I mean, there's a velocity, right? So, uh, look at the parameter of the gas. So, the, the main, the only parameters or the main parameters that changes the pressure is rho, density. Correct? What is the, how do you, how do you calculate the rho from the rho of the gas? You can do it from the ideal gas law, right? Okay? So that you see that it is very influenced by the, by the pressure. So that's what uh, is going to be important to find the, uh, the, the pressure. I mean, viscosity might uh, be influenced to some extent, but the main one would be density of the, of the gas. Okay, so this is uh, what is called ergon equation, okay? Um, so now what I'm going to do, this is the ergon equation is dp over dz, change of the pressure with respect to the z. z is the length of the pipe. So in the next few minutes, I'm trying just to convert this dp dz to dp dw by writing some very well-known uh, equations that you already know, okay? So um, at uh, steady state, steady state. So we have uh, m dot zero is m dot. Basically means that the mass flow rate that's going through the system it is not changing with respect to time. So that means that uh, your uh, rho v, rho v is equal to rho zero v zero and from here you will find the equation for rho because rho is the one that is mainly influenced by the pressure is rho zero v zero over v so in chapter four in, uh, in chapter four so equation equation four 
dash 16. So it was a, was a relationship between uh, V and V0. And that was V was V0 Ft over Ft0, uh, P0, P, and T over T0. So you can find the, the, the ratio of the density from this equation. So if you do that one, so your rho over rho 0 would be, or rho would be rho 0 times uh, P over P times uh, P0, T0 over T and Ft0 over Ft. Again, I'm going to write the, uh, the ergon equation, and I'm going to just simplify most of the term except the, uh, uh, this uh, ratio. So the ergon equation was dp dz was uh, minus g rho 0 g sub c dp 1 minus phi uh, phi cubed and uh, the terms in the bracket was uh, was uh, 150 1 minus phi viscosity over d over p plus plus 1.5 g and then we had other terms which is, which is coming from the v over v0 which is uh, P zero P T T zero and uh, F T over F T zero. So the whole things over here. Just to simplify this one, so you don't want to deal all the time with this. Uh, with this whole value, because if you look at it, this is the porosity, porosity of the material. This is going to be constant. This is the viscosity, right? And this is the uh, mass flow rate of this one, so it doesn't change if you don't change it. So it, this value can be constant for a given uh, reactor and given condition, right? So we can simplify this one, if you agree with me. So we're going to just uh, call this one beta zero. You see how simplified it can get? So basically dp dz would be minus beta zero p zero p t over t zero f t zero f t over f t zero. Correct? So beta zero beta zero is a constant. I mean it's constant for a given condition. Right? And uh, can you in a quickly tell me what would be the unit of this one? How can you tell me the unit? You have 10 seconds. <laughs> Look at it, you can, you can tell me. You don't have to just put all this. You, you, you learned it in, uh, in, uh, in uh, 201. Pressure what? Sure, yes. So basically, the, the unit of the data, because the other ones are. Uh, these guys are unitless, right? So this is that one. So basically, the whole unit is here, so it should fit the unit of dp over dz. Correct? Right? So it would be a pressure over meter. See? Or you can tell me quickly. So basically, the constant is going to be uh, kilopascal over meter, or in a, in a British unit or other point, would be atmosphere over, over feet. So I'm going to flip the page. Any questions so far? It's easy, right? Two funds is difficult. 
Okay. So basically, uh, so beta zero only uh, depends on depends on the properties the properties of the pack bit flow of the pack bit of the of the pack bit. And uh, fluid properties, and fluid properties entrance at entrance, basically. So then the whole uh, ergon equation is going to be simplified to dp dz minus beta zero uh, p zero t t T0 and Ft over Ft0. So basically what I did, I just uh, simplified the Ergon equation. And then uh, the, uh, uh, the effort for the next lecture would be just change the, uh, this Z, uh, the length of the reactor to the catalyst rate, which is again easy. So uh, it's just you, you need a you need an equation that relates the weight of the catalyst to length. You know what is that? What is this one? The equation that so basically it has to do with the density of the material and the volume, and that gives you the relationship between z and the w. Very easy, and then we can we can apply the volume. So we're going to just upload the solutions of the midterm today to the D12. Uh, okay, so just please look at it. Uh, just the, the intent would be learning, learning the, your mistake from mistake. And as I mentioned, if you have made the mistakes in, uh, in somewhere, just uh, you have time until next week. Just write it down in red on the front page and give it to me or, uh, or the other uh, PA option. You should see the on Tuesday. Okay? Have a great day.